Few soldering irons are comparable to the JBC, but the fact that this 13.9 centimeter portable Qian Li soldering iron is makes it very impressive. But is it any good? We'll tell you about it in this review. Its possible uses are many. For example, it may be for someone who does residential or business home repair, who travels, who has to work where they are, who anticipates an emergency, or someone who teaches micro soldering courses, or who has just been hired at a store where they don't have a soldering station. They may simply want a station in their shop that's smaller than normal, or they don't have the money for the JBC and need to use millimeter cartridges. The Kian Li Nano Iron works with approximately 20 watts, 9 volts, and 2 amps. It comes with this little bag that includes Included accessories, holder with tip cleaner, cartridges, cable, charger, and instructions for use. We'll do this review by comparing some of its features with a JBC station, but it's not a little bit disproportionate. The Nano Iron weighs 24 grams, while the JBC handle with its cartridge weighs 22 grams. It reaches a minimum temperature of 100 degrees and a maximum of 450 degrees Celsius adjustable. The JBC, minimum 200 degrees and maximum 400 degrees. It reaches a maximum temperature when the grip to start button is pressed and must be held down to get there and stay there and reaches the temperature in about three seconds. If you release the button, the temperature is held for a few seconds. With the JBC, you don't need to press any buttons. You just take it out of its holster and that's it. Then when you return it to the holster, it goes to rest. The soldering style of both is very comfortable. You wouldn't notice a difference if you didn't have to keep the button pressed, but you can get used to it. The way they both raise and lower temperature is very similar. It's very quick. By the way, some people don't believe that the speed of JBC's downward temperature change is accurate, but it is. This is due to the low mass of the cartridges. That's why they gain and lose temperature so quickly. It goes up fast and down fast. Don't look at the temperature itself as it's not an accurate temperature measuring instrument. This portable soldering iron uses only 115 series cartridges manufactured by Qian Li and also by JBC. This diagonal cartridge does the same job as the original. The 0.1 millimeter tip of the original JBC does not outperform the Qian Li in accuracy. In the case of the Qian Li soldering iron, it has a Type C cable that must be connected to the power supply at all times. About the durability over time, we just don't know, as we have years working with the JBC. And although the Qian Li portable soldering iron is a new product, we trust the good quality of the brand. So, could this small portable soldering iron be comparable to a JBC? Yes, very much so. We're confident that Qian Li Nano Iron can make your life much easier on more than one occasion. To purchase the Qian Li Nano Iron, you can click on the link in the description of this video. And for more spare parts and tools of all kinds, visit fourphones.eu. Thank you very much for watching our video. See you next time. This was Four Phones More Than Spare Parts.